Welcome back. Today is the 53rd anniversary of when man first stepped on the moon. That happened back in 1969, which Northern Arizona played a major role in. Team 12's Crystal Henderson went to the Lowell Observatory to explore the start of the lunar legacy. I'm ready to walk on the moon, and I heard this is the place to train to do it. It is, because astronauts 50 years ago were standing right where you are for training. We're at Lowell Observatory in Flagstaff. Push this button. That's good. You look through the main eyepiece, and you can turn this knob up and down. That's the focus mechanism. This telescope was used to map the moon. Tonight we're looking at the moon just like the astronauts did. You can see craters less than half a mile across. And in fact, during the right time of the moon phase, you can look and see the area of the moon where they landed. And we're getting a picture on the TV. Over the past five decades, more than half a billion people watched those first boot prints being made on the moon, and it almost wasn't recorded on video. When the missions were being planned, initially they weren't planning on doing TV, a video of it. But after doing some training in Arizona and testing equipment, they realized without video, you're going to lose a lot of the perspective. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. What would have the first landing been like if we didn't have that iconic video of Neil Armstrong stepping down? If we just heard him say, one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, but didn't see it. That's one small step for man. One Out of the entire world, why was Flagstaff the perfect place to train astronauts for this mission? Flagstaff has great geology, and a lot of geology that's similar to what they expected to find on the moon. You have the best preserved impact crater, you have volcanic fields, and even the Grand Canyon to get inspired to learn geology and to learn how to you know, really interpret layers of rock. And the engineers and, and geologists could test some of the equipment they were developing, including the rover, which they built here in Flagstaff as the, as the test vehicle for the one they used on the moon. Hey, this is Houston, loud and clear. 400,000 people helped work on the pilot to get us to the moon. 400,000, we remember the astronauts, but there are so many others. And a lot of those others were right here in Arizona, northern Arizona. To be able to walk in their footsteps, both the astronauts and the scientists, you know, it's a pretty special thing because it, it feels like you're connected to that history. All right, I've got some astronaut training to do.